It's popping people. It's double line. And we back. More Astro Season. I think all I showed was the first replay. So we got two to watch. This one's a failure, but luckily it was on left loss control. And as you can see, he just plonks this plus 10. Ninja Levitain, and my team can't handle it. I probably should give somebody Hardy Bearing. But I'll worry about that later, I guess. Yeah, so anyways, let's get it started. He also has a Ruse skill, which is really helpful for a play like this. Since Alm's not able to get his Lunar Flash off. Her animations and art is so sick. <laughs> yeah, my team just gets completely obliterated. Disappear. Maybe Hardy Bearing would be decent on Celica? I don't know. I'm not sure who I should give it to. She can just clean up everyone. This is really simple. You don't really need to see the rest. The last two characters are dancers. May as well just move on to the next replay. So this guy, he attacked me. What did he use? He has a bunch of water legendaries. He has a leaf, Fjorm, and an Alphonse. Unfortunately for him, his leaf is minus attack, but that doesn't really hinder him in this. So yeah, let's just see what he does. Fjorm soaking the shrines, because she's a bonus unit, her stats are pretty good. He takes a few turns setting up, tries to make this as perfect as possible. Even then, he's still not going yet. So I think he goes here. He snipes Alm with the leaf, after the bolt tower damage, or my bolt trap damage. Oh, still not yet. So now he goes. And that's just enough to kill exact damage from the leaf. Which is really unfortunate. So it's all pretty simple. He kills just about everything except the leaf or hell and Ephraim. I think that trap right there screwed him over. Actually, I don't know if it would have done anything. I wasn't actually paying attention. Yeah, Eldigan gets a kill. Hal gets a kill. I think he just quits. Oh no, he takes this for some reason. He gets one pot and he just takes it anyways. If Hal had a bit more HP, she'd be able to survive this, I think. I actually don't know how much damage this does. 29, 13, eh. Why did he double? Did he have quicker burst? Yeah. Yeah, but I thought quicker burst hell would have been able to kill him. That's alright. Uh, let's get into the match. I don't think I need to change my teams. I guess I do. That should be all. Oh wait. I think she had close guard. She can have flashing blade. Did I pair her? Okay, I did. <laughs> I just had to make sure. I 
All right, I think we're good to go. So let's see what we got. Let's see. We have a legendary arm. Always cool. Interesting set. He's running death blow four and low attack defense. That's cool, I guess. Um, no follow up is better. It just is. Let me think. I think I use Marita here. How strong is that? That's not strong at all. I could also just go Edelgard Flame. That might be safer. If th this guy had no follow up, I wouldn't be able to use Edelgard. His Panic Manor is really high level. And his Tactics Room. I feel like that's. I don't know. Not a bad start, but you need to get one of your shrines up. Dark Shrine and Bright Shrine are so good. Anyways, I think Edelgard Flane is the safest play here. So that's what I'm gonna do. The choice is clear. Um, I could isolate the dancer. Probably be a good idea. scared to put her here to be honest hmm well I'll just do it and see what happens so Kagero goes first that's a pretty big hit that was super reduced so I go, so he has a special ready. Oh, what special is that? You can't stop me. Sheesh. Nice. That's what I like to see. Whoa, that weird jump from Peony. That's actually a little scary. Oh, I can get rid of both dancers now. So that's really good. If I move up one, everyone might die. So I think I have to get the pot now. And I can take this pot. So hopefully it should be good enough. I don't really have a way to get flame in range, but I should be able to tank from here. I don't know why Edelgard's not doubling. Well, I guess the Kagero has an impact skill. I need to look at that. Alm dies. And air can't do any damage. Oh yeah, this is a super well-built Kagero. Her weapon's cool because she takes 50% reduced damage from the foe's first hit. And with an impact skill, foes can only hit her once, you know? So it's a really good set. Works really well. I'm gonna let Flane get the final kill. Just because I like her. Get her. Easy. Alright, that was a really good match. Nice and short. The guy didn't have dark mythics, but at least it was a light blast team, so his units were still getting boosts. I feel like that's the least you could do if you don't have any dark mythics. Let's see, only nine minutes. Let's take a look and see what's in our rank. If it would load. I don't know why the loading is so slow. Alright, here we go. Hey, back with the Sonya. Same one as last time. Yep. Okay. So we got a Fallen Delthia. 
Yeah, six at. That's a real. She's a really good uh, grail unit. If you really want a blue mage, like she's probably the one to get. I mean, her or Brunya, but they do different things. A plus ten, duo Magaya. Base kit, but that's all you need. Her attack stats so crazy. Yeah, it's good. Oh, and it's on a defense team. Yeah, that's scary. I was considering throwing her on my new Anima Season defense team. Which I felt like I had to make considering how much Astro Season has changed with Regine or Regan. I don't know her name. Regan. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call her. Uh, what's this? Plus one Pirate Tabar, and that's cool. Mazo's alright. Got a leaf here. That's solid. His weapon's good. It's uh cooldown reduction. Gives him decent stats. Got a Marita here, plus seven with Spurn. Oh, the new guy. Oh, plus six. What's his name? Dusel? That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how I feel about warding stance four. I think you just leave the Duff Res solo on him. It's probably more useful. But it does look like he's using him in a arena. Since it's not blessed for Aether Raids. But yeah, his stats are really good. And it's good that he gets a guaranteed follow-up. His weapon is kind of similar to Brave Edelgard in a way. Other than the movement. Or maybe it was Legendary Eater Guard's weapon. I don't remember. But it's kind of similar to Attack Death minus 6 on Foe. Let's see. Anything catch my eye? Summer Robin plus 10. That's pretty cool. Oh, the Summer Robin is sick. Running the Ninja Lance with Attack Speed Push and Repel. With the Gale Force, Flashing Blade. This is sick. I like this a lot. Speed plus 4, Death Rise minus 4. Yeah. That's really good. A Brave Bow. Oh, not a bad set if you can get him in desperation range easily. It's really good. Study Foster 3. Interesting. Yeah, pretty good for light season. What's on the Sashnard? Uh, nothing too crazy. Alright, well, that's going to be all for me. Thanks for watching. Peace.